how would you like to jump on with me? Because I can speak to the other two anytime. Okay. So it's something that you've never thought about what can I create space for? Instead, it's always, I presume it's always been about what can I push out? I love that, Elle, it's going to change your life. It is. Um, so yeah, are, are you currently thinking about your boundaries as, okay, what, what do I not want? Yeah, yeah. So when we then think about creating this bubble, creating your, your boundary bubble, what is coming up for you? What are you sitting there thinking, I really want that in my boundary bubble? Um, as in like things that you, that you, you want to have going on? Things that you can control. So whether that's energy, whether that's aspects of your life, like family, like friends, it's all about what you physically can control. So you can allow your friends in. You obviously can't control whether they come in or not, but you can create that space for them to be there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So what kind of things are coming up for you that you're like, you know what, I really want that to be in my in my boundary bubble? I think like because obviously obviously the weather's the weather's nicer now. So I think kind of make trying to reach out and see people and go out more and you know connect with them more like friends and stuff that are nearby. I think that's that's something because obviously you know throughout lockdown and things we've been we've been chatting online and stuff but I think it's you know obviously it's it's better when you're in person so I think that's something that I want to have in my bubble is sort of having having them um in person um and I think as well like you mentioned it earlier kind of doing working on some passion projects um so doing things that just I enjoy doing and um you know not worrying about it being good enough or being you know perfect um I do that's something that I do want to have and want to make time for as well yeah I love that I love that and you know what I'm not even going to go into this in a huge amount of detail with you because this isn't like a belief thing this isn't actually something that you need me to sit there and like probe you for I think you just need a little bit of time to sit and reflect on this and think okay what have I got in my life where's this coming in so are you okay if I give you another action point to do mm -hmm. I would like you to create a visual boundary bubble and I know you're going to make this look beautiful because I had an old client who was a graphic designer as well. Um, her Instagram handle is, or was, I don't know if she still got it, um, All Bodies Art. And it was essentially like a body positive um, graphic design. Like she did like portraits of people, but on her iPad and stuff. That's the best way I can describe it. You can tell I'm not very artsy. Um, I really want you to, to make this something that you really enjoy looking at. You really enjoy seeing. And these are going to be like your non-negotiables that are in here again they can change size they can change shape slightly they can move about you know you can change what's the priority and what's right in the middle but these are the things that you always want in there so I mean like for me that's things like um my family my friends um, we look after a couple of dogs a week so that's in that boundary bubble because that gives me a lot of fulfillment my work is a huge part of my boundary bubble because again huge amount of fulfillment uh, my creativity um, I do little bits on the side I'm not very arty but I do quite like playing about on Canva with like different words and text and stuff like that so that's something that I really enjoy doing those are the things that are in my boundary bubble but because each of them so hmm, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because I've got it on a tablet but if you've got like let's see can you see this yes so if you've got like the big bubble is your boundary bubble and then you've got like four different things in it there's still plenty of space around that and because it's a bubble it's fluid and it can change shape so you could then get like another thing that goes that goes like that is not what there we go that goes into like that gap and that's an awful drawing and doesn't look very appropriate but the point is you can, <laughs> I like how Annika took a minute to get that. <laughs> um, yeah, the point is little things can get added in. You can create space for it. You can you know, make one of your little bubbles smaller. 
So I want you to create a boundary bubble, make it look pretty, pop it you know, on your wall if you want to. I would like you to send me it because I know this is going to look beautiful. So I would like you to send me it just because I'm more curious than anything. And I always like seeing these things. Um, but create this bubble for yourself. And then when things come into your life, you can sit there and think, okay, is this working towards one of my non-negotiables? Yes or no? If it's a no, is this something that's going to bring me happiness, fulfillment, that's going to align with my values? There's another thing, like have a think about what your values are and what things you really like. Because I know it's um, like environment and sustainability. So like if someone comes to you and says, you know, do you want to do a litter pick? And it doesn't quite match up with one of your boundaries, but you're like, you know what? Yeah, I would really like to do that. It's going to bring me a lot of fulfillment. Then you create space for that. And that's the thing that our boundaries are. How does that sound for you? I know I've just talked a lot at you there. No, that sounds good. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Ace, so I would like to do that. When do you think you'll be able to do that by? I don't normally do this with people that aren't clients, but I really want to see this bubble just because I think it's going to look amazing. Um, so when do you think you're going to be able to do this by? And I can hold you kind of accountable with it as well. Um, I think I could send it by Saturday. Saturday. Ace. Yes. Now, obviously, because you're not a paying client, I won't be able to like case you up on this. Um, but what I will do is like, I, I want to jump on the call with you after this anyway, just to see kind of what you're taking from it and just clarify your action points anyway. So what we'll do is we'll book that for early next week. And it means if this isn't through by Saturday, we can then discuss it then. Is that all right for you? Yeah, that's fine. 